Hi, I'm Brittany Chanel reporting for Grady News Source Spotlight, and I'm joined with G. Woods of Radio One. So, G. Woods, can you tell us a little bit about your job? I understand that you're the social media manager here, so some people may not know exactly what that is. So, can you tell us? Um, a social media manager. Basically, I tweet on Facebook all day for the radio station. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a combination of um, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media platforms all of our mobile platforms, but basically my main job is communicating with our listeners. So it's really, you know, uh, sending out event information, content, uh, stuff that's happening on the station, and really just reflecting the on-air brand online. That's really all I do. Okay. So what's one of the coolest things that you've experienced for your job? Every day is cool. In all honesty, you know, every day is not the same. I mean, if I had to point out one thing, it would have to be our uh, summer event birthday bash. Uh, we put on, it's the 18th year this year, so you know, it's always an excitement to put on that event. We do it all on our own. We don't put, bring in a production company, so that's probably the exciting thing, get to meet some of the biggest artists, Kanye, Rihanna, and Jay-Z, so that's probably one of the biggest exciting things for me. Okay, and so working with social media, I'm sure you've received some crazy comments. So mm -hmm. what's one of the most craziest things that you've experienced? I mean, we always get random, we get the most random things. There's always some crazy person behind an account that says something. I mean, we have three different stations, a, a urban hip hop station, an urban AC station, more adult contemporary, and a gospel station. All three have different audiences. So on the gospel station, someone may get mad because we didn't praise the Lord too much, I mean, enough, or if we didn't, you know, use Jesus enough. So, you know, it can, it can range. <clears throat> On our uh, Urban AC station, they're a little bit more mature. Um, I, don't, I can't think of too many. They may get mad at something we do, but it's never too many, anything out crazy. But our hip-hop station, Hot 1079, we always get that person who's mad we didn't play their song, who's, you know, mad we said something about their favorite, favorite artist. So it can range. Um, from a lot of things, um, but it's mostly people get mad because we didn't play that song, and we try to respond tactfully. Um, sometimes it may have you know a little comedy spin on it, but we try to, try to respond tactfully. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> and so I know you, like you said, you do a lot of posting during the day, but I'm sure there's some behind the scenes type stuff that you do that most people may not think comes with the job. So can you like give us one of the things that you do behind the scenes? Mm hmm. One of the things that come, I sweep floors. I do do that. I sweep floors. Oh, okay. I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, I was about to play. Uh, well, the other part of our job is video production. So all the videos you see is uh, is usually mine, so, uh, interviews, stuff like that. Um, and the digital side of producing birthday badge, that's one of the things a lot of people don't know I do. Okay. So production of the website, production of all the digital assets, day of event videos, uh, all the camera stuff that goes into that. Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay, and so you talked about video production, and that was going to be my next point. Um, I'm curious because I like video production too. When did like what age did you get into video mm. production, and what is it about it that you love so much? Um, video is my passion. Uh, social media just happened to come because Facebook was adopted, and I had just started at the station. Um, video production for me started real young. I was in middle school, and there was this uh, this uh, TV production lab we we had just built at my middle school called the CNN News Lab. And then from there, this guy, uh, Tashimpo McKinney, was the teacher. Actually, he just asked me to do his uh, a career day at his school, so that's pretty cool. Um, we saw, I started there. We would do a daily newscast each morning. I was a direct. I went from being the cameraman to the director. I was writing script, all types of stuff. And it was just a middle school newscast, but you know, that's where it all started. I learned. I taught. He taught me Final Cut and Avid and all, a lot of these editing softwares. But it kind of started from there, where I started getting into the whole video and editing and all that stuff. Okay, and so what is it about video production that you love the most? I'm a visual and creative person, so I like to, you know, make things do. I like to tell stories, in all honesty. I like to tell, you know, how we got from here to there or how something got from there to here. So, you know, I just, I can visually tell that story via a video, via a tweet. So, you know, I, I think I'm pretty good at it. So. Thing. It's my thing, I guess. <laughs> okay, and so I also want to talk about your brand because you have IMG Woods, and pretty much everything your Twitter, your Facebook, all of that is IMG Woods. So, um, when did you start to brand yourself, and how did you do it? Um, when did I start to brand myself? Um, 
a lot of people don't know I'm 25 now, but uh, I started here, started at the station real young. So I started here at 20, 19, 20. Um, so, you know, for me, I didn't, go to, I didn't go to a college. I don't have a college degree. So I had to kind of set myself apart from a lot of other people, a lot of, a lot of students who, who probably well, well more qualified to have a degree. I had to, you know, kind of step it up. So on that time, like I said, Facebook had just came out. Twitter was just coming out. So I said, okay, cool. These are new platforms. Don't nobody how to, no, no one you really knows how to use it. So I said, okay, let me, you know, figure something out. So I don't know how I am G Woods came in, but uh, I think G Woods was taken or something like that. So I just took the Nespex thing. So I took I am G Woods. And from there, it's just create the whole I am G Woods. And now my bosses, even in, in corporate, they call me G Woods and I am G Woods. I'm like, how do you not know my real name? And how do you know my Twitter name over my, um, over my real name? So, you know, for me, you know, with the platform of the radio station, and we, uh, have 55 plus radio stations across the world, plus a few different other brands. Um, it's allowed me to kind of put my brand out there as well. So, you know, I never, you know, uh, overshadow the brand, but I just align myself with the brand so I can kind of ride that wave of a radio station, you know. A lot of people see me like, you're the guy from the Twitter who responds. I'm like, I guess so, but I, I'm not used to the attention, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. And under your brand, do you do like any services and stuff like on your own? I do. Um, it's just, it just depends on the project. I don't, you know, I don't have like a full service uh, video production um, uh, business or anything like that. But I do build apps on the side. I do build websites sometimes, video sometimes. So it just depends. I do social media consulting on the side too. So uh, sometimes I don't have time to do it, but you know, I'll, I have a team of people who kind of help me out. That's pretty awesome. So if I need an app, I know I can come. If to you, you need an app, you know where to go. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I also want to talk about like some of your goals and stuff. So for you, you're pretty established. You're here at Radio One. You've been here for a while. But what is a current goal that you're working towards right now? A current goal. Mm, it's a real hidden secret, and I guess you'll be the first one to know. Uh, <laughs> Along a while when I first started here at the station, I uh, started this uh, social network for uh, Christians. I guess you would say called I Praise, and I incorporated with the station and we're doing these events called I Praise. I Praise is basically a social network for Christians, so that's the next thing, uh, hopefully in the next year or two, that you'll start seeing. So you'll see an I Praise mobile app and an I Praise social network where people can kind of upload their photos, upload videos, kind of do the same thing, thing they do on all these other social networks, but all in one place with their quote unquote Christian brothers and sisters. That's pretty awesome. I actually yeah. like that idea. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, indeed. And so I want you to think back now because you started here when you were 19. Started so from the bottom now here. Yes, indeed. I was thinking about that song <laughs> of the way here. <laughs> but for when you were 19 and you first started, like what was going through your mind as far as career-wise? Like what was your long-term career goals when you first When I came first here? started, when I first started interning here, I didn't yeah. think I was going to get a job uh, at the station. You usually don't get a job at the place you intern. Because, you know, around that time, you know, the economy, economy was about to start turning around and, you know, they weren't really hiring. But uh, for me, you know, I, I became an asset and they put me on. But my long-term goals were really to get into TV production. So I still want to do that. So, um, you know, that would be my long-term long goal. It's executive produce, you know. I like the news, so it would be on the news side. But really, the long-term goal is to... Uh, um, have my own business. I don't really want to work for other people. You know, it's cool to learn from the station and learn from this corporation, but I like, you know, doing my own thing and kind of don't have to answer to people. Not necessarily that I can't answer to people, but I like to do my own thing and, you know, be creative, be the next Steve Jobs, be the next Mark Zuckerberg. A lot of people call me the Mark Zuckerberg of radio, so. Oh, that's pretty a pretty cool title. <laughs> I, I wore, wore my hoodie just, you know, to rap, so. <laughs> yes. Pretty indeed. cool. Okay, and so the last question that I always ask people when I interview them is to give us a random fact about you, something interesting that... A random fact. Kind of random, interesting, little tidbit about G. Woods. Mm. Random fact about me. Um, I wouldn't say it's random, but I am random. I'm a random <laughs> person. If you've ever seen me in the hallways uh, around the radio station, I'm very random. If you go on YouTube, you might see me dressed up in a suit, uh, costume or something like that doing something crazy so I'm random and I'm somewhat a comedian on the side after eight o'clock you, know, <laughs> so you can find me being random 
yes, on Twitter indeed. and Facebook at I am G Woods. Hey. Yes, indeed. And you also love Scandal. I love Scandal. Oh my It's the best God. show ever, right? It's the best show ever. And <laughs> let me tell you how I found out about it. Oh, I, please we do. have a, a broadcast on Thursday nights. So I'll be on Twitter and I'm like, what is this scandal everyone's talking about? So I missed the whole fir first season, but I, I was like, what is this scandal? So I never got into it. So one night before I was going to the club, I'm like, okay, what is this scandal? Okay, I start asking people, all my friends. So it's like, don't look at it now. Go back and watch the previous season. Of so I, I stayed up that night watching the previous season, and I got to work late the next day because I was I watched until like <laughs> eight in the morning. The next oh, wow. morning, I watched the whole first season and in up until the second season that I uh, that where it was at the time. Gotcha. I was like, I love this show. So now I'm a I'm a I'm a gladiator for sure. Gladiator. And Scandal follows me, and a lot of the cast follow me. So it's pretty cool, you know, social media and TV. Pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Live tweeting is also Live tweeting is also awesome. awesome. That's how I got a lot of followers, too. So, you know, give my opinion. People like that, I think. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, thank you, G. Woods, for agreeing to thank you. interview with me. And now I'm going to sign off. It's Brittany Chanel reporting to you for Grady News Source Spotlight.